All right, what you see here is a Hunter Low Profile 2 ceiling fan. This fan is from the first quarter of 1998. And I got this fan almost five years ago now from Brandon C. Johnson. This fan I got new in a box from him. It's actually the first fan I got from him and also the first new in a box Hunter I, I got in my collection. This fan I've been needing to test for a very long time. I just never got around to doing it. And here it is finally on the test mount. Well, back when I first got it, I didn't have a test mount. I was just for testing them, so that was one reason why I couldn't test it back then. And then I, when I started testing stuff down here, there was other fans I wanted to test first. But now I've been really wanting to get this one tested, so I figured I'd just put this one up finally. And the fan runs pretty well. Um, it's in good shape. The spotlight kit is actually not original to this fan. However... I did get that from Brandon as well, and if, like it's actually made from the first quarter of 1998 as well. So I kind of find it quite a coincidence that I got this spotlight to try out on this fan and some other fans down the road. But um, the fact that it was made from the exact time that this one was made, I find that pretty in interesting. So um, yeah. Now, um, despite the fan being brand new in the box, the blades are a bit warped. I don't know how that happened, but... I do know sometimes blades can get warped over the years, even if they're sealed. Like, I'm just gonna spin it a little bit so you can kind of see. There's a few of them, there's like two of them that are pretty warped. That one is, and yeah, it's those two there that are pretty warped, and then the other two are, are not as badly warped. But, um, it doesn't really affect the performance, but it does make it wobble a little bit more. But um, stuff. What you can do? What can you do? Um, so it's actually a good fan. It didn't put these these blades um, on the bright brass open fan. I was thinking about doing that at first, but considering how warped these ones are, it probably would have made that fan wobble even more than it did. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and show it to light. Oh, before that, make sure the hunter logo. Now show it to white. Now with this fan being a little bit older than the white one, which was well, it's actually quite a bit, quite a bit older. That one's from the eleventh or twelfth. I think it was from the eleventh, eleventh week of two thousand three. Um, this one does run a bit faster, but also it's one that's brand new out of the box, so that's not a surprise. But it's a capacitor might be failing on that, one, starting to fail on that one. Same thing with the the bright brass low profile. So the white low profile I had in my bedroom, that was also when the box ran pretty fast on high speed, just like this one does. So, um, yeah. The lights around me so I can give it a test on the lighting. <clears throat> Light up the space well. I already recognize how modis do, but just for those curious. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and start off on a low speed. But, um, yeah, back, backstory with these fans, um, these are pretty big childhood fans for me since they were the, the, um, one of the only two huggers on the special order catalog back in 2001, 2002, that along with the Hunter Brunswick and the Low Profile 3. Now, I do have a thing for Hugger fans, so that is why I have quite a bit of them. But not as much as I'd like to, but... Since these were one of the few first few Hugger fans I'd see, especially in catalogs, they instantly became childhood fans for me. No, I never seen the antique brass one as a kid. I did see the white one in, on a display in the need to make me public, and a bright brass one on a display down there as well. And I did see a bright brass one in 42 inches in an office at a motorcycle place, which still did to this day as far as I know, but whenever I go back there, hopefully sometime this year with my dad or something, I can get a video of it. <clears throat> but I mean, I did see one of these in um, an apartment that we p possibly could have rented instead of this one, but the owner chose somebody else instead. Um, they had a 42-inch one of these in the living room area. 
and they had an Encon Corinthian in the kitchen. Some of you guys might remember that video from quite a few years ago, back in 2016. Would have liked it that place, but I like this apartment a lot more. The only thing that would have been nice is that our apartment is right next, it's like maybe a five minute walk from the five to f almost 10 ish minute walk to, from the university I go to. So it would have been really close by. Another thing that would have sucked about it was that I was on the third floor, so I had to go up three flights of stairs each day. Definitely would have sucked. And the ceilings would have been a lot lower than. But they are here, so. I said, the only thing that would have been nice is we wouldn't have really had a dining room, but we would have had a third bedroom that I could have made into like an office or something. But the rooms were pretty. We're not small, but the bedrooms they have here are a lot bigger, so it makes up for it. And um, I do apologize for that sound in the background, the um, oil. I think it's making it's like filling up and such for the heat. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and move it up to not not move it up to the medium, but I'm sure it's light. Well yeah, it definitely has a decent low speed to it. It's moving decent there. definitely a nice combination. I can definitely see myself putting it in a living room setting or something. A game room. An office. I do think it would look really nice in Brian Peterson's better known on YouTube as the Cleveland fan collector. I mean, his man cave. I think that would look, this would look pretty nice there. Obviously, he has something more that suits his style, but I think this would actually look, this appearance-wise, it would look really nice in there, too. Now, I did have thoughts of trying this out with a schoolhouse globe instead, but I just think it would look way too similar to an Armitage, which is something that I really am trying try not to do with the low profile too, since they already, since the Armitage did copy the look of this in general. That's actually the other reason why I didn't show the white one when I tested it down here with a schoolhouse globe, because then a lot of people would think it, would, it was an Armitage and not a Hunter low profile too. Well, I definitely could see myself doing it in the future. I just rather give it more of a hunter look while I test them. And then later on down the road, if I feel like it, I'll do it. Or they might mistake in this as like one of those Menards thingies, the schoolhouse globes and such. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and move it up to medium. Definitely moves decently on medium. This definitely would have been one that would have looked nice in the living room with the old apartment as well. The only thing is to have more of a contemporary look, but the antique grass finish definitely would have went well with the wooden, this wooden -ish ceiling that we had in there. Definitely do miss that living room. I like this one a lot, but that one I definitely miss quite a bit. Especially the size of it was definitely nicer than this one, but this one's nice and cozy, so it's, like, it's more like a game room to me than a living room now. But, but yeah, the low profile and so on that living room I really liked a lot. Court of Regency works pretty well there too, but I really did enjoy the low profile more. Care Toast too, I and mean, the Care side maybe liked in that living room as well, but seeing this right here really, really reminds me how much I like the low profile in that living room. Alright, 
make sure it's white. do plan on getting a bright brass one of these at some point since that's that literally the only size I'm missing in the 52 inch variant and then to get the 42 inch versions of the low profile twos it's interesting though because these were sold from around 1995 up until 2003 was the last year they sold them so I find it interesting that despite these being sold for almost 10 years, you don't see these as often as the low-profile ones. At the same time, I think these are special order ones or something you'd only find at a showroom, whereas even with the low-profile ones, you usually only find the white ones. Even the brass and the antique brass ones, you don't find as often. But it kind of makes sense, I guess, because as far as I've known, the, only the white ones they would sell at, like the Home Depot or Lowe's and such. So that could definitely be a reason why I see those pop up a lot more. All right, and move up to the high speed. <clears throat> Thing definitely goes pretty fast on the high speed, although I already know for a fact that the the um what is the the R and M ones from the eighties definitely go faster. Definitely want to get one of those just to try out. And see how much more, it, how much air it moves compared to these ones. Who knows? Maybe I can ask Nathan what he did if I can borrow his for testing. Definitely is cranking out quite a bit of air. Definitely a fan I've considered a few times in the past to give to my grandmother and swap out the Bahama in her living room with, but considering how she takes care of the fans, that's definitely, it's definitely not a fan I'd want to sacrifice. I'd rather give her something like a little bit cheaper than this. Plus, you don't see the little profile twos that often, so I'd rather give her something that's more suited for the way she takes care of them. Not that she doesn't take abuse them, it's just that she doesn't really clean them often or and such. Plus, she likes the look of the Bahama a lot, so I try to kind of give her something that's more, that's not contemporary looking for the living room. Which this does have somewhat of a contemporary, well, nowadays you have more of a con contemporary, it's a bit different than back, how it was back then, but it's definitely a bit modernish for her, in a sense. And with the living room having like a seven, like an eighties look of and such, I feel like this might be a bit new looking for it. Spin 
down and then I'll show it on reverse. I'm not sure when this video is going to go public, but just for those wondering, this video is being filmed on January 31st, so it's definitely going to be a few months till we see this video, but let's just look for those wondering. Some people might be seeing certain fans that I've posted about on Facebook groups a lot earlier in the year, but that's just because what I've been doing is I've been pre-recording every video and selecting certain ones to go public at certain times, and some other ones I'll have stored or uploaded, but then I'll have them go publish later, public later on. That way, um, when I have like no time to film during that time, I already have stuff, at least other stuff I can put out until I have more time to film stuff. As of right now, of January, I already have stuff filmed going into April, so definitely have quite a few months worth of videos or so. But that way, when I do have the time, I can just film a bunch of fans and test them. And that way, there's, still go there's always going to be content on the channel, so it won't be like a few weeks without any f ceiling fan videos, which, is, which was an issue that I had go in... um. 2019 sometimes it would be like a month month and a half about a fan testing video same thing from like when i came back from the dr um in 2019 that was i was very busy coming back so i didn't have stuff any time to really test anything down here but that doesn't mean that after this test I'm not gonna be testing anything else. It's definitely gonna be more testing ways it's just not gonna be as often. I like film like something for like a week or two worth of videos. Just keep upping more or up publishing publishing more of them and then little by little I keep filming what when I have spare time here and there. So if I've been doing that and it seems to be working out I still have plenty of videos to show. Might be a week or two that I skipped just to like add up time to get catch up on time just to refilm some more stuff down here. But there's definitely gonna be a lot of videos this year. <clears throat> definitely that way I can make up for the lack of videos of testing down here for the past few years or so, and especially in 2018 where I didn't really test almost anything. Since that was like the year that I stopped for testing, for basically, so. I think it might be going public sometime in April, if anything, maybe March, I'm not sure. But, but um. It's definitely already going to be more stuff filmed by the time you see this. And it also depends what I want to show you guys first, too. Like, wh or which ones I know people want to see more. That definitely does come into fa to factor. Or what I want to just show to you guys quicker. Even, especially if it's a newer one that I got. Or if it's something I've been wanting to film or do a remake of for a while. But, um... Yeah. But I'm back to the fan. It's definitely a good performer on reverse. It's definitely a very good performer on high on reverse. It moves quite a bit of air. I can feel it all the way from over here. Alright, and that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.